Hello. All right. Well, I'm at my friend's house and um, I'm there at work. So on my day off, I'm going to be doing an unboxing. This is the Box of Blessings. It says, Box of Blessings, unique handmade items for you. Sustainable livelihoods for third world artisans. Donation to a poverty fighting cause. This is from Blessings International. I always wondered why somebody didn't do something about that. Then I realized I am that somebody. Alright, so let's get into it. Okay, so it's a normal sort of um, shipping box with the stickers on the sides for their thing. Um, okay. Ah, and I just made all this stuff go away. Okay, um, finally got the box open. So these two things fell out. Um, we have Welcome to Box of Blessings, brought to you by International Blessings Uganda. And this is um, going to be telling me what I have in it, which I'm not going to read, but it's got um, the stuff on the back, which I will put the links down. It came with this really cool card, like a business card, but instead of it being elongated, it's square. All right, it says, thanks for taking us from nowhere to somewhere. And that is a quote from La Boca Santa. Project Have Hope empowers Ugandan artisans through the sale of handcrafted jewelry made from recycled paper. Varnished for durability, the vibrant colored beads are crafted into wearable art. Each purchase supports our mission of educating women and children and providing business opportunities to empower women and give them the courage to dream. Learn more about our work in the Artisans Empowered by Project Have Hope. And I will put that link in the description if you want to go and check it out. I think that if there's anything in here that you think um, you'd like, just go check it out. So first I have some pretty pink paper. Right time for Valentine's Day, which is yesterday. Ooh. Okay, so I'm actually really excited about this. I have a bag, and it kind of looks like elephants is kind of what I'm seeing from it, like the trunk and the um, legs, and like at the bottom. That's kind of what I'm seeing. It has this really cool jewel right here on the zipper portion. And so, there you go. That's pretty simple, but it's got a nice thickness to it. Um, it kind of, I would probably use this for coins or maybe some quick makeup or something. Um, but it's very, very soft, like super plushy. I like it. All right, and then I got a little box in the box. Box option. <laughs> Okay, so I've got a bracelet. These are so cool. Okay, and it's a stretchy bracelet, so it'll actually go on my wrist. Fits quite well. I actually just bought a um, goldish color shirt, which this will work very well with, I think. And a coin. This is from 1924, and it says. Got a five on it. East Africa. It is five cents, so basically a nickel here. And it's Jorvis the fifth. So I'm guessing King George the fifth. Rex at I assume it's a necklace. 
most my solar plexus, um, which is actually a really good spot for me, especially if I'm like wearing something kind of casual, you know, this would go really well with it. And what I really like about this is that I would also be able to tell the story, you know, about where I got it and stuff like that. Um, another way I could do it is kind of circle it around. tell the story of, you know, like where you got it. Like in this case, it is um, from the Pathfinder, I say Pathfinder, why do I always say Pathfinder? Project Pathfinder. Pathfinder was nowhere in there. <laughs> um, but anyway, okay, so the coin necklace, um, this cord features an old East African coin available in brown or black. This is an Imani bracelet. The bracelet is filled with tiny paper beads strung on elastic. Paper beads are made by cutting paper into long triangular shape, rolling it, and applying varnish for durability, hardness, and sheen. Ooh, that is cool. And a coin purse. Okay, so that is a coin purse. It's, okay, so the reason they had told about two of the stuff, Project Have Hope and Outreach Uganda, the first two, the necklace and the bracelet, are from Project Have Hope. The coin purse is from Outreach Uganda. And made uh, using available cotton fabrics, it is padded to add extra protection, and each purse has a slip of paper with the name of the woman who made it. These are all paper. That is awesome. So, I'm pretty excited about this. I really like this box. I'm glad that um, I was able to find it. So anyway, um, check out the description. I hope y'all like it too. Go check it out. Have a good one. Bye!